Hey class, uh, my name is Linda Wilson. Uh, this is my Open Kinetic Chain presentation. This assignment, um, the goal for this assignment was to take someone who is inexperienced through um, three skills of a certain sport of our choice and to basically help them get to the mastery level. So I did mine over dribbling and jump shots. The two types of dribbles I used was crossover and between the legs straight into a jump shot. So this is a proficient way of doing these particular things. We have a low crossover below my knees, a successful between the legs, and then a jump shot. That is what it says, that is what it's supposed to look like. And then this is an experienced player, her name is Casey. And this is her, this is her way. There's her crossover. She dribbled kind of high, which she almost lost it. And then her between the leg, back leg was too bent and too low and um, causing her to have trouble to send the ball through. Um, so it slowed down her movement and then also her jump shot. She took three steps instead of two and then she threw it with two hands. In basketball, you have your um, your shooting hand and then you have your guide hand. Your shooting hand is normally your dominant hand and then the guiding hand is, of course, your non-dominant hand. So uh, go through the crossover. We dribbled, we did some ball handling together to show that basically she has to dribble below her knees um, in a squatting position, and then just sending the ball back and forward. So because she's high, the ball's harder to control, and it caused her to dribble. It caused her to dribble the ball off of her foot because she was dribbling so high. And then for between the legs, basically you have to stay low, but your back leg can't be too bent because it'll get in the way of the ball as you're trying to send it through. So here I'm basically showing her that you can just send it through, have, send, it, send the ball through having both hands ready on both sides of your leg. That way you can just keep going back and forth. And then shot, so basically after your jump shot, you want to um, take two steps into your jump shot that powers you up, helps you to jump. You want to be squared up, that way you're not off balance. And then you um, want to get your elbow, elbow tucked in, follow through, one motion, snap your wrist, and um, eyes on the rim. So that's the jump shot. Um, I followed through. My feet were squared up to the basket, as whereas whereas she traveled a little bit, and then um, she followed through. But when you come from a travel, it's a, it's a little bit harder because your momentum is still taking you forward, and your feet are not set, so you're a little bit off balance. And after telling her these certain uh, details of motion for each skill, she was able to kind of grasp the concept of what needs to get done. So she does a proficient crossover, a proficient between the legs, and then the jumper. So this is what we came up with. And she has successful low crossover between the legs. She snapped her wrists and it led to a beautiful shot. So um, this is the end of my video and I hope you guys liked it. And um, the three skills um, are pretty, they're not, they seem simple, but they do take years of practice because try doing those things 10 times faster during the game. And so basically Casey did a really good job and she succeeded at the mastery level of crossover between the legs and jump shot. So this is the end of my video. And